David Dole actually had a really good take on this. Okay. He did possibly because he's Canadian. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to address this controversy that I'm going to bet the majority of you don't even know exist. But with that said, the reason why I want to cover this in my own video is because this is definitely absolutely going to come up on the leftist mafia podcast that is going to be uh that we're shooting tonight or I'm um, live streaming tonight. And we are a democratized podcast. If it were up to just me, I would say this is not worth a discussion anymore. This we should be over this. But I am one person, and we are a podcast of six. So I'm not going to, uh, you know, enact my uh, my uh, authority over the other people. So it's going to be talked about. It's easier for me to discuss this all here, so you all understand my position on what the hell is going on. All right, or what went on. So. <laughs> Well, what is this all about? So a few weeks ago, this tweet went up. And uh, it's Anna Kasparian, TYT host, saying, I am a woman. Please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus, birthing person, or person who menstruates. How do people not realize how degrading this is? You can support the transgender community without doing this shit. All right. The, there is... Okay, <laughs> let me first say, nothing, yes, that is fine. This is fine. Yes, nothing is wrong with wanting to be called a woman. That, that's fine. There's no problem with this. The issue is when you are making this into a bigger issue than it actually is feeding into right-wing framing on trans people during an unprecedented attack on their existence. So I'm going to explain here uh, more into this. And I feel like at this point, when I get to Anna's video from last year, Anna knows this. This video for me is more about disappointment than anything else. I'm not doing this to cook TYT <laughs> to, to, you know, drag them through the mud. This video is to show my disappointment and my hope that both Anna and Jenk correct themselves here, uh, are able to come out and apologize for misunderstanding this entire debate and clearing the air here. Because right now, I think they're losing a lot of people who have been big supporters of theirs for a long time, including myself. And to double, triple quadruple down on this is not productive. And again, I'm going to get into explaining more and I've got a few videos to show you here. So the reason why this came back oh, before I show you why this came back up here is a uh, I'll get to this response again, because this is a response to Jenk, and that, that'll come up later. But in terms of the issue around birthing people. So regarding the birthing people comment, this is these are my my written statements. You'll have a tough time finding anyone with a real following that's claiming birthing people should replace women in all conversation. It's terminology used in academic papers and politics when it's about literal anatomy. The pushback from the left is on adopting right-wing framing of a non-issue used by the right to further otherwise trans people during an unprecedented attack on their existence. This, this is the issue. Is using your platform to feed into right-wing narratives. And this, look... If this tweet got no traction, no one noticed it, this wouldn't have been a story. No one would be talking about it. It wouldn't be a thing. But because it has 127,000 likes, um, 27 million views, apparently. The, these Twitter views are not really reliable, that, that number there. But this was uh, quote tweeted, uh, endorsed by people like Ben Shapiro, Charlie Kirk. All the terrible people on the right were praising Anna over this uh, over this tweet. Not to say that She's now guilty by association. But when that happens, if that happened to me, I would think, okay, what did I say here that <laughs> maybe I didn't mean to say? Maybe the intent wasn't there, but I said something that clearly was taken a certain way that I don't want it to be taken. At that point, I would delete the tweet and maybe even screenshot it, but del delete the tweet and, and explain, okay, this is what I meant by this. I didn't mean this. It's being taken the wrong way. I apologize for any uh, 
any confusion around this or whatever, but that's that's not what's happened since then. There's been doubling, tripling, quadrupling down, and I'm going to get to why I think that is, which gets to the Hassan clip as well. But let's go to why this came back up, because this was three weeks ago, March 22nd. This Sunday, uh, Ole, who's one of the uh, hosts on the uh, Leftist Mafia podcast that I'm on, tweets out here, the internet is filled with hating-ass people, and no one can convince me otherwise. So tweets a video about this. Um... And a response <laughs> saying, oh, Ole, do you mean people who demand people cook their friends and those kind of haters? And Anna points to this video that is from this week, or sorry, that week when Anna tweeted this out, where we discussed this whole issue. It was brought up by people who were, we responded to questions. So a lot of questions came, out about, came in about this, so we responded to questions. But um, part of the, I think it was like an hour-long discussion, uh, was where Ole is basically saying this. Everybody sure feels the need to trip over their fucking feet to come out to defend her for getting cooked when all of the people get cooked all the time. Nobody, I have, I have yet to watch a video of anybody defending me from getting cooked. I've never seen it. I've never seen everybody come out. She has a lot of fucking bad takes and then she gets cooked because she comes out right. unprovoked. She asks to be cooked. She got up today and she said, Twitter, cook me. <laughs> Okay, anyway, there's more to that. And there's also God, I'm gonna get to the clip. See see this 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 we will get here. Cause I'm going to show you how much praise there was, how many caveats, how much dancing around there was during this discussion. That it wasn't this wasn't an hour long of of cooking TYT. That's that's not what we did at all. But that's how it's being construed now by, um, unfortunately, Jenk and uh, Anna as well. So, Ole responds to that video saying, you made transphobic statements and we spent an hour of the show defending you from allegations, which is true. We did spend an hour of the show defending her, uh, of being a turf rather than addressing the substantive problems with your comment. I said I felt like they were coddling you. I stand by that. If you think that makes me a hater, knock yourself out, uh, miss. So, she responds to that saying... LOL, the meltdowns over wanting to be referred to as woman rather than a birthing person is pretty wild. I'll never never apologize for that, especially as a biological woman who has had a effing lifetime of being told I'm less than, I'm a woman, no apologies. Now, I don't have to explain uh, the issue here, the issue with this, because Anna herself did. This is, I, I believe, last July, but this was like about a year ago. Um, here is Anna about a year ago discussing this very issue it's bad faith they know they know there's a difference between gender and sex they know that it is very possible for someone to be born a biological male or, or a biological female but in terms of gender identify differently as a male or non-binary but they still have the biological capacity the physical capacity to get pregnant mm -hmm. so that's why the language the rhetoric is inclusive to include those people. It is not a big deal, but they make it a big deal. They manufacture it into a big deal because that's all Republicans are. That's all they have, this is all they do. Endless bad faith arguments meant to fear monger and direct hatred and fear toward other Americans, typically powerless Americans, because it's bad faith. I don't even have to explain why this comment, why these comments are the incorrect thing to say as a public figure who is a progressive voice, someone who's looked to, uh, and someone who has authority in a platform like this. I don't have to explain why these comments are bad because Anna herself did a year ago. It feeds into a right-wing narrative that is meant to otherize trans people. When birthing, no one is using birthing person. No one is calling her a maybe one person called her a birthing person, but this is not this is not a societal problem. It's only ever used, as I said, when discussing anatomy in academic papers and in politics to ensure that people who can give birth, whether you identify as a woman or not, are protected under those policies. Nothing again is wrong with her wanting to be called a woman. No one is denying that to her, but feeding into the narrative that someone that there is sort of a push to deny that she's a woman is is a problem. Again, this is not, I'm disappointed more than anything. Because 
once this how many times must this be explained including by herself before she realizes that this this is what the problem is is using your platform to feed into this so uh the next day jenk went on a tweet storm <laughs> quote tweeting several people uh and just i'll get to the one that really bothered me personally but um he says here i replied to one of his tweets but he says here so david you agree that birthing people shouldn't be used in a political context as the default term for women it's not it's not being used so she yeah i agree but it's not, it's not being used that's not what's being that's not what's happening so he says great that's exactly what we're saying bad news apparently that means you're adopting right-wing framing no when you raise it and pretend it's an issue that's adopting right-wing framing so I go on, I already read this, but I go on to explain um, what, I, what I'm saying. And I also link to Emma's take from Majority Report. Emma's a good friend of, of uh, Anna's. And Emma also explained this very well. And it's a five-minute video. It's an easy watch. It appears Jenk didn't watch it. Because he uh, goes on to get even crazier. So he writes here. Oh, sorry. First, um, Emma says here. The repeated emphasis and reaction, responding to Jenk, have been on social media. I can't speak to the segments you guys have done on the show. I'm not trying to be pure. I'm engaging with you even though it's uncomfortable for me because I love you guys and I want TYT to be on the right side here. Emma's being very charitable, very kind. I love you guys. Like, nothing very kind here. This is the tweet that really bothered me. Jenk's response here. Saying, good news, we are on the right side. Mission accomplished. Now let me talk to you in a patronizing way about all of your opinions I need to correct. The complete lack of self-awareness here is mind-boggling, considering I've watched Jank TYT for over a decade. If he had told me, if he had come out later on and saying, oh, my account was hacked, I'm, I might have believed him <laughs> because of how, how, how much this took me off guard. It just completely stunned me. And um, Emma replies to this, saying, I was trying to express my love and appreciation for the company that gave me a start and for my good friend Anna within the context of a disagreement. This reaction is pretty shocking to me, Jank. Have a good one. So Anna en ends, or Anna, Emma ends the interaction here, which I think the was the right thing to do because Jank, I don't know what's going on with him at all. Um, and then he goes on. So this is that same day he goes on on his show. And uh, here's what he said, and I'm going to show you. I'm not gonna, there's no reason to play the full clip, but I want to show you what I'm going to respond to here because it is what he says here is so insane. But here it is. Or one that I read. So I'll just say this. Okay. I love you. And it's okay. And if you disagree, it's okay. If you want to leave, that's okay. Okay. Um, thank you for being a member all this time. I appreciate it. And, but what you're, in my opinion, what your misunderstanding is and what you have maybe you didn't see is so all this kerfuffle starts with a simple tweet. And then at least half a dozen videos from other progressives or leftists online, all attacking us and calling us all sorts of names. So maybe you don't see that, so you think like, well, what is Jenk so upset about, right? So they call us all these names and they, they feel super proud about it, like huh, we are more pure. So then I fight back on Twitter and then all of a sudden they're like, huh, how could you insult us? Jenk? I'm willing to bet he did not watch Emma's video. I'm willing to bet he did not watch our hour-long discussion on this. He probably saw a couple of clips taken out of context. He, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure who else covered this, but people close to them, like Emma, like myself, we were very kind. If you watch Emma's video, very kind. If you watch our take, very kind. In, let me show you. So I clipped out a few moments here. So again, this is like a long discussion. If you want to watch the full discussion, uh, it's episode 16. I'll link to it below the video. You can go down and you could find the um, addressing Casperian birthing people tweet. But let me clip out uh, just portions showing you, you know, how I first framed the discussion and also showing how a couple other people on the podcast were talking about them. There was a lot of bad faith criticism online over this, like people calling... People just blankly saying that she's anti-trans now completely. That uh, people bringing up stupid shit like the Armenian genocide because of the Young Turks when they have <laughs> both. First of all, Anna's Armenian, but like Jenk has um, acknowledged the Armenian genocide like a thousand times. And anyways, really dumb bad faith, bad faith criticisms. Also ignoring the fact that it, 
Look, based on so one of the things that went viral or not viral, but trended after this was um, the Young Turfs as like one, one of the examples of, of how people are calling them. If you search trans on TYT, it's purely in defense of trans people. Like you're not going to find one video that is criticizing trans people. It's about with the person that Anna has been nice enough to me. We are mutuals. I've done an interview with them. She is nice enough. People have different views. They have the right to evolve, yada, yada, yada. She's done good things, etc. But I think this is incredibly problematic. And I do think she deserves the not to be dogpiled or to be personally attacked or to have her entire track record uh, dismissed. Yeah. But I like I, I like Anna enough. No, no shade I, on Anna. And I think she's a fabulous looking white lady. She's very popular. <laughs> but yeah. from this situation, I hope that she grows. And I hope that if I fuck up somehow and I say something sexist or insensitive, that she calls me on my bullshit because we're not perfect. We all have our own lived experiences. And sometimes we're going to make mistakes as allies. It's just a matter of taking accountability and also recognizes the recognizing the impact that we have as individuals with very big platforms. Platforms. more than charitable is that name calling is that smearing no we're giving context we're saying hey we disagree with what, with what was said here and again we're addressing it because it went viral we didn't make it go viral it went viral already we're addressing it because we're being asked a question about it and we're doing it in the context of hey just so you understand tyt has a great track record on this that's what makes it even more surprising and disappointing Yet, it appears Jank didn't watch any of the actual arguments. For a guy who, look, as I've said, I've watched endless hundreds of hours, probably thousands of hours of, of Jake on TYT. For a guy who largely is very rational, he's being completely irrational here. And again, I'll get to why I think that is uh, in a second here. But also, um, Anna came out, that same show, I think shortly after Jank's comments there saying this, to be Genius. honest, I just don't really care to like collaborate with any other leftist ever again at this point. Yeah, no, that's where, I mean, no, that's no. where I'm at because they come on the show, they build a name for themselves, and then they build a bigger name for themselves, trashing us as if they don't know who we are, as if they haven't worked with us, they don't know what our actual political values are. Which we explain in the video I just showed you. We I talked about their values. I gave that context. Again, these are. This is not. This is not a good faith disagreement here. We're being as charitable as possible. And this is the response that we get. Again, it's for me, it's incredible disappointment. It's not, again, I'm not here. I also don't think, I can't speak for them, but people like John Adarola who worked there, I don't, I would be stunned if he agrees with them. But because he works there, he's in a tough situation. I'm not going to, you know, criticize him for not speaking out. I understand. But I bet you a lot of them there who work there don't agree. And what are they going to do? It, I don't know. So this is my uh, why I think the the reaction from them was so ridiculous. Only thing left to add to this drama with TYT, I think being under constant bad faith attacks for years can cloud your judgment to what is and isn't a legitimate criticism. But I would hope when people closest to you ask you to rethink it, that you would take it seriously. So I think this is, I don't know, but I think this is what happened. They have, of course, TYT is <laughs> the amount of ridiculous, and I mentioned some of it there, uh, the, the Armenian genocide and all this other garbage. That it's They've been under ba constant bad faith attacks for years. So it can be hard to discern what is and isn't legitimate. But if people like Emma who in her statement saying, hey, I love you, I disagree with you, this is why. If you are being irrational to her, like, what's going on? So uh, Hassan responds to this, and, and I want to play his piece, not just because he praises me <laughs> or uses this, this tweet, but because he gives his personal experience as to why he thinks this is also uh, the case. So check this out. Anna was unfairly criticized by Tulsi fans and she was ultimately right about Tulsi. So when Anna gets pushed back now by all of left Twitter, she thinks she's on the right side. Yeah, that's the other thing. David Dole actually had a really good take on this, okay? First of all, actually had a really good take. <laughs> I'm just joking, but let's keep playing. He did, possibly because he's Canadian. It's the last time I will ever give props to a Canadian man or people in Canada in general. Okay. He said, 
The only thing left to add to this drama with TYT, I think under constant bad faith, TYT has been under constant bad faith attacks for years, and that has probably clouded their judgment to what is and isn't legitimate criticism. This is something that I fucking experience on a daily basis. This is why I literally pop off sometimes on chatters who are being sarcastic, for example, because I have done this exact same thing. I've had to withstand so much insanity over the course of so many fucking years that it basically broke my brain. My immediate reaction to like any kind of uh, mis misunderstanding is like, oh, he's cynically misconstruing what I'm saying. That's what's probably going on. I am not going to clarify. I'm not going to be charitable. I'm just going to fucking fire back. Ah! Right? It's like a trauma response almost. Okay? And he goes on to explain. It gives an example as well. And um, Hassan knows from experience. And he's been able to catch himself, even after maybe making a, a mistake, but catch himself and then realize, yeah, this is my reaction here is not rational. Uh, it's only rational in the sense that he's under attack all the time. So naturally, you have sort of a, a defense response. But he's able to think through that and stop himself. And I think that's what went on here. And Anna and Jenk did not did not do that. Uh, and I also go, he also goes on to discuss the other tweets here, which is, this is kind of why I don't want to talk about this on Leftist Mafia, because I, I don't think it's, it's really going to be beneficial. Um, but here is a, a few things that I share. So FYI, there are chaos accounts on here playing both sides and attempt to cause some larger rift. I found three, just, just browsing around. If I had dug, dug deeper, I'm sure there are countless accounts trying to create divisions here, but. Uh, one case where this person's criticizing me, um, saying, sure, Mr. Entitled White Person, teach us what is and isn't bad faith in your opinion. I'm trying to pretend that they're, they're super far left. I, I'm, I'm being bad faith as a entitled white person. Yet, their pinned tweet is transphobia. <laughs> so, you're both extremely right wing and also very left wing. There's another example. The, 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 another example here. Random crypto account brings up this drama while tagging Anna in a reply to a tweet about Twitter and video games. My tweet here, nothing at all to do with what the discussion is about. Saying if Elon Musk was smart, he would have added a Twitter feature where you can opt in out of a slash out of certain topics. So say, for example, I want to tweet about how Valkyria Chronicles 1 and 4 are on sale, bundle for 11 bucks. True. Amazing. Anyways, uh, on the eShop, if you opted out of my gaming tweets, I wouldn't bug you. Which I, th I think this should be added. It's a great feature. But this per like, what is this? I think you are extremely fair to Anna Kasparian. I'm like, what? <laughs> this has nothing. And you, what I also notice is they tag, they tag the people because they want, they want interaction, right? They want, they want Anna to see this. So it says Anna Kasparian in that leftist mafia podcast. I don't understand why Anna. I don't understand Anna's reaction. However, Ole was out of line and tried to unfairly accuse you guys of coddling white women. So, anyways, trying to stir up more shit when. It's a crypto account. They're retweeting Rand Paul. <laughs> like this is the what? What the, this is again? Accounts like this, uh, the are not would have no reason to be engaged with this shit. But um, they're existing simply to try and start some crap. And one one last example here: a uh, person playing both sides. And this is one that um, actually has a blocked Hassan. So here's a person has Hassan's profile picture, H Hassan Abi. His Twitter profile or Twitter name backwards, and this person blocked Hassan. Such a big Hassan fan, they've blocked him. But writes here, just curious, will you ever speak out against your bestie Anna Kasparian, uh, unpro unprovoked attack on on uh, Olay? Yet, interestingly, here they are defending Anna. <laughs> Twitter's full of broken brain, broken people, and every day it is getting worse. Anna Kasparian shares this woman's perspective, a true progressive, not ready to hold back on honest, open conversations. Playing both sides here. Again, with the tagging of the names, trying to start crap. It, it's so bad faith. But that's why I had to address this all here. <laughs> so there's likely going to be a discussion tonight on this podcast, on our podcast. We stream live at 8.30 p.m. Eastern every uh, Thursday. So come check it out on this channel if you uh, want. But there, this issue that most people don't even know, most people on YouTube have no idea what the hell this was, this was even about before I talked about it, but I think it was worth addressing to uh, clear the air and get my uh, thoughts on this. Oh yeah, one last thing, because I wrote this down in my notes, and I do think this is also an important point to make here. When it comes to the, you know, Anne's comments about birthing people, 
There are comments that I see from people on the left, including prominent people that I disagree with. And guess what? I shut my mouth. <laughs> you know why? Because they don't have power. The left doesn't have power. Why am I going to spend my energy, my platform, attacking them over that when we don't have power? Unless they're feeding into right-wing narratives, using their platform to all of a sudden now be right-wing. But I'm talking about things that I think are would be considered maybe too far left. I don't know. But just like random comments that I just don't agree with. But it's not, they have no power. You have to, even if you don't want to be engaged in, in, I don't know, the activism or what you may view as being too far left, to use your high horse to then attack those people who are doing that work, who have no power, who just want, I mean, in this case, just want to be people, just want to be, I mean, which also goes to how ridiculous the criticism around birthing people is. At least they're being called people. Trans people don't have that same luxury. So this is just all around. It's a ridiculous thing to uh, feed into. And I would hope with these good faith criticisms, <laughs> trying my best here again, still three weeks later, uh, I would hope that they would reconsider and if they even watch this video, because it appears they didn't watch the other ones.